Happy New Year, if it really counts as a Happy New Year, and welcome to Morning Transfer Talk. Hello, and welcome to Morning Transfer Talk. Happy New Year. Anyways, I'm Cheshire Cat. He's... Where is he? Boo! <laughs> Idiot. Anyways, let's move on to the transfers. Anyways, let's do that again. I'm Cheshire Cat. He's Peter Rabbit, and this is the news. Turn off the thing a little bit. That looks nicer. Transfer window will actually open on January the 2nd, today. And will close on February the 1st, this year. And it's officially a done deal. For the first time, you hear that jingle again. Watford have announced the signing of Danish winger Philip Zinkernagel. Philip Zinkernagel. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, I think. The, <laughs> the 26-year-old scored 19 times and assisted a further 18 goals in 28 appearances as FK Bordeaux boom. the Norwegian top flight title in 2020. He also scored three goals and earned three Europa League outings. Which is interesting. Joel Matip's latest injury and injury record may force Liverpool into the transfer market in January. But who could Liverpool buy? Hmm. Well, if we take a look at Sky Sports. These are a potential three that they could sign. Interesting. So that's that then. Let's move on. Could Manchester City move for Kane? Probably not, I can imagine. I mean, they have a lot of money, but considering the COVID pandemic, they won't have as much. And they probably won't be able to afford Kane. Considering how much Marino will probably want him. Will um, probably want for him. Potter's Graham Potter has got the full support of four of the board. I'm pretty surprised at that. I thought he'd be halfway after the sacking. Messi has mentioned that he wants to go to the MLS in the past, only a few days ago or so. But will he actually head to the MLS? However. Lionel Messi is planning to stay at Barcelona until 2023 before joining David Beckham's into Miami side, according to reports in Spain. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Are Manchester United now up to speed? Probably. Arsenal defender Socrates Papastopoulos has interest from Napoli and Fenerbahce as he prepares to leave in January, according to the Daily Mail. The Turkish side have also expressed an interest in Mesut Ozil, with the Gullis boss Mikel Arteta revealing on Thursday that his priority is to sell players this time. And it's a damn deal. Stuart Armstrong has signed a new three and a half year contract at Southampton. Not a bad way to start the new year, eh? Because these are New Year's Day's headlines. Solskjaer has said that signings have boosted his squad. Well, obviously, Bruno Fernandes is just carrying the team at the moment, you could argue. With Rashi. <laughs> Rashi. Nuno Espirito Santo insists Wolves are ready to make their mark in the transfer window. They've been linked with Diego Costa after his release from Atletico Madrid. Well, to be fair, he's not for personal reasons, so I think he'd rather take a break, but we'll see. Proper said it's still a long way to go for Van Dyke to come back after he's um well um after he has um posted an Instagram post of how he's doing. Hodgson is not concerned by the future of Wilfred Zaha. Oh, he's fell over. <laughs> Newcastle are looking into loans. 
A number of big names at Crystal Palace will see their deals expire at the end of the existing campaign. Gary Cahill, Amanda Dusaka, Max Payne, Andres Tanza, Patrick Van Arnholt, Christian Manteca, Rinse Guaita and James McArthur are among the players with six months remaining on the current deals. But yeah, he's not expecting a busy window. Celtic are hiring Preston North End central midfield to Ben Pearson on a pre-contract. West Ham manager Dave Moyes say as the club could try for players this January if it was right for them. Ancelotti is quiet on links to Sami Khedira who has been linked with a January move to Goodison. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has been reappointed at Burton. Um, their manager beforehand was sacked a few days ago. Teta is unsure whether Reza Urza will return to the Arsenal squad in January, but has suggested the club would not look to cut short players that are not in his plans. Arteta res responded after um, the links between Urza and a return to the squad in January. We'll see what happens at the transfer window. I will set at the end of that. Lee Johnson, the new Sunderland manager after Phil Parkinson left the club, has said um, transfers depend on the take ow, the takeover. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has said that Amit Diallo is close to arriving at Old Trafford, um, Old Trafford, with the paperwork completed, but he's refusing to be drawn on other tr um, January transfer in plans. I know she said earlier, Bruce is happy with his Newcastle squad, he didn't say that, but he's looking for loans, we've already said that. Anyways, that's it, goodbye. Bye! <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching Transfer Talk, we are back.